Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are back with, I don't know if you can see but I haven't tidied up from yesterday yet, yesterday was a busy day, day 59, can you believe that? Um, this was from Sammy, lovely Sammy Jared, and she said a Gale envelope style journal, well, I, I could see on my YouTube that I had watched those videos of Gales, but do you think I could remember? No, so I had to go back and have a little look. Mm. I'm just sipping coffee. I pulled out um, envelopes here, but you know, like if I did it with this, I mean, that's going to be Biddle, and we could do a little one, one with a window. And then I looked at this one because it's a little bit taller, but that would be really teeny tiny. I mean, it would be cute. And then I, this one was sent to me by Carol from Caroline. Um, but then it has that there. This would be a nice size, this one. Um, I, could, I could glue that down, actually. That would be very nice, wouldn't it, with that beautiful um, tea dyeing. So the other thing I did, which is, which I'll show you how I did it, just a minute. I'll be there in a sec. Okay. Just grabbing a piece of just tea dyed paper here. And I just wanted to show you what I did. Now I have no idea what style I'm going to do. I'll just probably play with what's on the table. So basically all I did was fold it up like so, about there, maybe a bit higher I think I went like that and then I folded this down I left a little space there if you're looking at my thumb I cut myself when I was cooking dinner quite badly and I had to put two band-aids on to stop it if you know what I mean um, so yeah that's why I've got the band-aid I'm not taking it off until it heals a little bit um, so so I've just done the fold I've left about a centimeter quarter of an inch maybe um, space there and then that's like that. And then I folded it in half. So this is if you didn't have an envelope. This is just a copy piece of copy paper, international A4 copy paper. Um, if you didn't have an envelope, you could do this. I'm just going to move my fabric scissors over there because I'm not using those right now. I'm just going to put my cord all the way over there. I hope you're not shaking too much. So then the next thing to do is to... Um, so first of all, I trimmed just a little bit off here, like it would be very slightly with an envelope. Just very, a little bit. I'm not too concerned about how perfect it is. I might just snip off and round that corner just a tiny bit. I did it a bit more on the other one, but only because my scissors took lost control. Um, and then you need to round these. So what I did was, um, like we've done in the past, just put, lined up my crease, held those together like so, and kind of like that. And then here also in the center down to the crease I need to go I'm not getting there there we go and I just there that's going to be glued down anyway I think so what Gail did so just, that was like just say she had the envelope that's what she how she managed it and then that's they said that you don't have anything creasing there and what Gail did was um, with her envelope she glued those down and she had she appeared to have those two open as tucks. I mean, you could leave that. You could stitch that down and have that that flips up and it's a pocket. So anyway, that's that. That's how I created this one. This one was more heavily dyed. They're more or less about the same size. The other option, as I said, was this one. Um, what I would do is crease it. like so um, and then I would have to grab this gal folded it that way I would have to get grab that and just very slightly trim it and I don't like the point so I'll just round that and I would glue that down you see 
I mean, I don't have that bulk in there in my crease, so I would glue that down. Actually, yes, no, I will glue that down. So I'll need to glue it. We'll do that right now. I'll just grab a glue book. Just along here, I think. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, this is the mushy glue. This is the glue that I was recycling from the empty glues. I'm not doing it anymore because it's too mushy. I don't like it. So that would go like that. Ooh, and it's glue everywhere. No, 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 no. Put that up there. You fell down and you tricked me. I'm just going to get the glue off there. With my dry towel. Get rid of that. Okay, so I'll grab my other glue. Right, so there you have it. So that's glued down. And then that can be, that would be a general. I mean, it ends up slightly bigger than the ones done with the paper. So this is a solution. If you don't have the envelopes, just use your paper. You might have straw paper. You might have recycled paper. You might have um, nice parchment paper, any paper. Fold it up. Even like we could even do it with like a big book page let me see for example put my towel over my shoulder I've got this one this big book let me see I don't want one with flowers on but I'm sure there's something here um, that like the index we'll use the index I mean even this page would be good as your base it's nice and strong paper one of these with writing could be good. Why don't we do one of these? If I can. There we go. So we'll fold one of those up as well. This might just be a folding video. How about we just do a folding video and not do anything else? That would be fun. All right. Okay, so fold that one up there. Because I don't have the envelopes that are the right size. I'm using what I've got. So I grab that. I've done a little flap here, this one. Fold it like that. Then we need to, I'm going to snip down the side here a little bit. Just taking away any possibility of anything overhanging. And we'll do this too. That, that just slightly goes in. We, do we do we worry about that? Probably not. And then we've got to do this size. So, oh wait, I haven't folded it yet. Let's fold it. Let's get our folds. We'll fold it to get our center. Okay. Then we'll hold these together. Do that and then I think I oh guess I like Gail's method of folding it the ver the reverse and then snipping here oh there's my fold I couldn't see where my fold was there we go okay so I've got that and that would be my kind of envelope style and I mean, that one's worked out, it's worked, actually worked out about the same size, a tiny bit bigger than the, the international paper ones. And then they have to be, you have to decide how you want to close them and they need to be stitched. So this one I might open here uh, slightly at the side. So we can have a pocket there. And I haven't decided whether I want a pocket at the back. And then these ones, I have to decide whether, like this one, for example. I might have this one that it, that it opens up. So that will be stitched down there. Or stitch down there or glue it. Um, and they, they can open at the top. 
so I'll open up the top. And that one I have to decide as well. So then now we need to sort of decorate them. Mm -hmm, that's interesting. I'll put those ones over there. I'm not using them. Have a sip of coffee. Well, I've got all my yummy ephemera here. So let's pull some of that out. There's lots here to use. For example, I'm going to glue that right there. Done. And then I can take it from there. and Because I want to leave that nice um, coffee dyed edge there. And I do think these mini journal -y sort of things are very useful things to have. Because if you go on a little trip, you can take them and you can um, maybe have some pockets and things in them. And you can just put all your notes in there. And then if you're thinking you might like to do like a bigger journal -y sort of thing um, when you come home, then you've got all your information and your tickets and, and you've just taken really quick notes. And then you've got this cute little journal. Um, that you were using while you were away. I think that's fun. I've got all these scraps here too because I've been um, preparing um, pages for... I've started my next round of journals for my orders, which I'm very happy about. And I've prepared... I started preparing their pages, so very pleased about that. I'm going to put that there. I've got no idea today. Honestly, I don't know if you believe me. I really don't know how in what direction I'm going I'm just using as I said I'm just finding all this stuff on my table because I haven't tidied up for a few days and might as well just use it um, let me see. put those ones over there right oh oh I did this one afterwards yesterday I love those might do some something with some of that too. I really did enjoy that yesterday. Um, and I would like to know more about samples. I've always loved them, sample embroideries. I've always, always, in lo I've always loved them. And um, I used to do cross stitch when I was about Lulu's age. And I did Amish. Um, I don't know, I can't remember what company um, used to produce these Amish style um samplers that I used to love. I've probably got some here. Mum mum had some. She gave them to me I think even last time when I came home. So um but I was reading um now one of my subbies I can't remember who sorry my memory's like a sieve um told me that she used to work for a gallery um museum I want to say and um and and learnt quite a lot about the um, sample. So you could tell us a bit. That would be fun. Um, so, so yes. Yeah, so um, I was reading this. Um, there was just like a blog post. It just came to me from uh, Pinterest. And um, and basically like um, some. So there were certain types of uh, samplers that were done um, by let's say in inverted commas the elite um you know like aristocratic sort of ladies more like that um and um yep so some samples were done by them and but they were done in there were certain types and they were um i want to put some fabric i think um they were they would be done with silk and they'd be a certain, they were called spot samplers. But I wasn't quite sure what a spot sampler was. So I have to look that up. And then, but then a lot of the other types of samplers were done um, quite often by middle class ladies to low class, lower class ladies. Um, so poor, you know, from poorer families. And, um, and they, and quite often, um, the sampler, because they put their names on them and the date, it was quite often the only documentation of their of this person, which I thought was really interesting. And then there were symbols that they included in um, in um, 
a sampler, which quite could quite often be like a a symbol, um, like a sunflower. And at a certain in a certain period of time, the sunflower um, was also a symbol of um, the death of King Charles the First. I think I read so. Um, who the person who wrote the blog post said that including symbols in their um, samplers um, could also show um, sort of like in inverted commas their political affiliation like showing support for um, could be like it's all interpretation obviously could be um, you know representing that so um, I thought that was very interesting really 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 interesting and then often you know like when they would include um, you know um, um, verses from the um, Bible or from you know depends maybe you I don't know if they might have been um, they could have been um, from other religions I don't know if they did them but um, if they included those in their in their um, samples and that would also show their you know that they were virtuous and this and that and all that sort of thing so I thought that was very interesting I really did so it made me want to um, know a little bit more about them so I'm just gluing things down I'm just grabbing what's on my table left over from yesterday so this is going to have a little bit of stitching in this one as we're speaking about stitching Um, cross stitch to me like I have this beautiful um, it's a reproduction antique sampler um, pattern it's by GG GGR is the name of the pattern maker and it is gorgeous and I really want to do it it's quite big um, and oh you see that's ups oh my you know what I've done oh why aren't you screaming at me I put it all on upside down wouldn't that be right? Put it on upside down. Well, that doesn't matter. I'll just close it. It'll have to be closed. That's all. That's all. That's all that means. It's just going to be closed instead of staying open. I'm going to see if I can get any more out of this. The only thing about this glue is it does not want to come out. And I can feel it's heavy. I've had it upside down. It just doesn't want to come out. It's not friendly at all. There you are. There's a bit. I like the thing I like about this glue, except for the part that it doesn't like to come out, is um, that it's not overly wet. Not like um, PVA glue. P P but PVA glue remains my favourite glue, besides my glue sticks. Well, that's a shame. Well, could you not have a? You could have a pocket. No, because I want. I'm wondering if I could have a pocket um, that opens from the bottom. <coughs> Could I? That's a million dollar question. Could I have a pocket that opens from the bottom? How would I like that? I might not like that. Nope, I'm going to close it. What a shame. I'm just going to close it all up. It's going to be shut. Oh, helps if you take the lid off. The glue will come out if you take the lid off, eventually. Because, yeah, I never put the lid back on. And, of course, I'm thinking I haven't put the lid back on. Not looking, because I don't look. I'm in a hurry. And um, and so now I am trying to was trying to use the glue with the lid on. Good one. So this one's not having any pockets, which defeats the purpose, kind of, of having, like, an envelope-style journal. But that's just how it is, because I made a boo-boo. But you know, it's not the end of the world if you make a booby. You just have to adjust your plans. I could, I, no, I can I can open it at the top. I'll open one at the top. But I do like that. I haven't finished the back because I got distracted. Right. Oh, now I'm shocked at my mistake. I'll have to have a sip of coffee. So I won't use that, but I might use... I'd like to put that on one, I think. Just get rid of that white piece. That's that. See, I pulled off that white piece. I didn't even know if I was going to use this, but that's just 
a prime example of procrastination, prime example. The, you know, this band-aid on my thumb is hindering my progress. It's really quite annoying. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put that there. Is that weird? Now, how did that cord get back over in my way? So these can be, like all mini journals, can be a fun, quick little gift to make for someone. So the other thing you can do, um, if you're concerned about how um, sturdy it, it is, the spine, you can put a little piece of fabric there. What's this? I don't think that's going to be wide enough and it's not long enough so I can't use that one um, I've got this over here this is just a calico this one and maybe I'll use let me see what I've got in my um, in my dyed ones if I've got anything that's long enough that I'm not hoarding because you know this is the hoarding basket well I don't hoard these I like to use those they're just cotton two dyed cottons they don't get hoarded those ones now how wide would I like it not too wide I just want to put a little bit there and a little bit around to the other side so I need to just put a snip in here and rip it I don't think that it really matters that it's not straight it kind of adds to the character and then I need to just fold it up there and get that piece off as well. And then what I would do is just put a little bit of glue here and I am going to stitch down it. I just put a little bit of glue there to hold it in place until I'm ready to stitch it. And put, well, I like the crooked side actually. I'm going to put the crooked side on, on the front. I mean, I am the lady that hoards holes, uh, holes in fabric and stuff, so it would make sense that I would put the crooked side on the front so you can see it. There we go. Perfect. So that's going to be nice and strong in the spine. And then we also need, if I can find... Oh, yes, it's right here in front of my face. Look at this. Do I want one of these? No, I don't. Brown? No. I do like this one. But no, it just blends in. So maybe I need... Oh, I have to go and answer the door. Just a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Right. We were looking for something for here and I needed to get this one. Good thing that the doorbell rang because I actually remembered then that I needed to empty out the previous videos. Otherwise, we would the video, the um, phone would have conked out like it wouldn't have recorded anymore because it was full. No, that's not working. Something small, this one. That's it. Right. This one's on um, adhesive paper. And obviously today I cannot separate it from the adhesive paper. I'm 
Okay, so that will be stitched afterwards. That's the back. And then obviously inside, you put all your, your papers inside. I don't think I want to 100% cover that up. So maybe just like you could just have, I've even got this scrap of fabric, you could just have, a, no, not that. You could have a little belly band or something shooting down there. Um, I keep looking at the same things. You could have a little belly band there so you don't cover all the nice um, tea, you know, tea dyeing. what else is in here that could be nice and in keeping with the theme less green I think put that there Okay, did I open that one? I hadn't, oh, I was going to open it at the top, that's right. So that one could be opened at the top and I need to do a little bit of something here. It's not quite wide enough. So it's just, this, you know, part of the same old book that I was using before. Yeah, that's good. So what I do is I'll stitch around um, where the, just finish my coffee. Where the um, fabric is and then we'll put some pages in and we might decorate another one if we get that done. doing that I was just thinking because I like the coffee dyeing the tea dyeing I actually did tea dyeing in this um, maybe um, 
I mean, you could put a little bit of something down there. I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is what I'm thinking. Put that there. And then I'm going to have to tidy up this mess, aren't I? I'll just tear this one down a bit more. Are you doing chicken today? Yep. Okay. It's a bit similar to what you had last night. So then I've got that there and then I'm going to just get rid of this page because it's very sticky. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to grab, where is it? in its usual spot. Oh dear. It must be here. is what I want. Mm. Hidden at the back. I want some acetate. I'm going to do some acetate pockets. I want this. I think I'll get this type from the packaging. I'm going to put it on double. So... Well, actually, that would be good, wouldn't it? So that way you can see under there. I know, what about if... So let me just um, put a fold in it. Put a crease. And then put a crease. I thought rather than doing my bodgy cutting, I might... I wonder, if, do you think my cutter would cut that? I wonder if it would. Let's try. I wonder. Otherwise, I can use my knife. I never thought about that before. Oh, it does cut it. Because this is like that um, packaging one, so it's a bit more like paper, I think. Oh, I love it. There we go. And that's a nice piece to use for something else. And this is double. I haven't, it's not single, so it's nice and strong in theory. And I am going to glue that there. And I'm just deciding, oh, it's a little bit too long. I'm just deciding whether or not um, I want to um, do two single, sep I think I'll do two separate pockets. So I need to fold it in half. A little crease where my halfway point is. Oh, I can't see it. Oops, and it, oh, I had it on top. What a goose! Oh gosh, I probably ruined it. Oh my goodness, what a ding dong. There we go. It's okay. I'll stitch that. Right, so now I need to sew that, and this is the slippery bit. It slips and slides a little bit. Um, actually, I probably need to trim a little bit more off that. There you go, so I can trim off my faux pas. Yeah. Okay, so I'll stitch that on there. Way too much stuff in front of me. Way too much stuff.
Okay, so I'm going to stitch that on there. I want that side where it doesn't open. And you've just got to be careful here because they do slip and slide a little bit. You might just start stitching from up there. I don't want zigzag, I want straight stitch. So when you go onto the acetate, just slow down a bit and make sure it pops on under your um, presser foot because sometimes it, it doesn't and it just slides along and then you and then it catches and then you've stitched it in the wrong spot. It's happened to me before. stitch down and then we've got to stitch our other one down just make sure I've got my yep that's that right way and is this one just you don't want it going into your crease so just I'm going to start up here Okay, call it. So we've got a nice acetate pocket there. Two pockets, and you can see the the tea dyeing or the coffee dyeing or whatever it might be and then I'm going to snip across the top here so I've got an opening just to there it's a little opening for a tag and I think I'll do my half circle here Okay, so now we need to create some pages for this. We need our um, scrappy bits of paper. Just grab those over. We'll have a doily. Doily's always nice in these things. We won't use that because they'll be covered. We might have a piece of this paper. So that could be fun. Maybe this paper, I won't, I'll fold it like that. Oh no, that's not right there. Okay, we'll trim them off afterwards. This one I'll fold like this. So lots of scrappy bits of paper. I'm not done yet. I'm going to grab some of this paper, do you think? So it's kind of like a scrappy thing. It's not going to be perfect or anything like that. Some brown paper, I like the brown paper. Oh, it's folded. So I'll tear it off there. 
So there's no like measuring, measuring. It's just, you know, put it on top and eyeball it. That bit doesn't want to tear because it's double. But that's okay. We want it to be messy. Great, Lulu. Fantastic. Some green paper. I'm just going to tear off where it's folded there. Right, so just tear it about there. Here's a nice piece of book page. And we might have that one. Okay, let's see how we're going. So let's get our basic size. We'll do it with this one because that one's already the right height. And I just need to trim off a little bit. I might use this. Okay, so that one's all right. That one's all right. That one's all right. That's going to be all right. This will be all right. One might be too wide. So this is like my template. Oh no, that's perfect. Now this one. So I'll tear off that bit there. Because it's old book page, it tears off fairly easily too. And then a tiny bit off there. And then, okay. We have this one. Oh, we can get two out of that. Okay, let's see. I'm actually going to have that one in the center because you've got the nice tree image there. And we'll have tea dyed paper, brown paper. So you can put in as many pages as you like. Put the book page. And that. I like that. Yep, good. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to just machine stitch down the centre, but you could do your little pamphlet stitch. Or will we pamphlet? Maybe we'll do a little pamphlet stitch. No. I think I'm just going to machine stitch down the centre. There's not that many pages in there. I'll make my stitch about, I'll put it on number three, just making sure I've got it more or less in the centre. Hopefully it don't go off.
don't even need don't even backstitch it don't worry about it and then we have our little book okay so that's the cover that's the back just used whatever was on, on my table um, and then all your pages I think that's really cute you can decorate it if you want to put pockets cute oh they're a bit short but you see then if you've got a little short page like that what do you do you can um, add to it so let me see what do I have so for example I've got this Let's tear that off this is from an old book I can attach that there put some glue on glue it down and then I would probably oh I can grab this strip here and glue that down if I wanted to or you can use washi tape I'm just going to trim that little piece off because oh no I'm not I'm going to put another piece on I'm just going to cut that off there and then here I'll stick something else down there oh I think I'll just tear this I've got this left over from yesterday I've got a bit of stitching in this one so I'll just get that but what I'll do before I stick it down is I will get my measurement more or less because this is white on the other side. You don't want it, that one to overhang. And that's a super fast way to attach on an extension. Cute. Oh, look, I don't even want to stop. I just want to keep on going with this little booklet. So that's that. And then we might want to add a little bit more to this page. And what could we add? It's all my ephemera. So let's move my stamps out of the way. I don't need those. So I've got this. This is already on some old book page. You could even attach that. have to attach it there that could be cool I think I might so just get some glue I think I have to put my glue on here and I've just slipped the book under there so that way I can and then I glue that down there I think that's going to be all right let's have a look there we go. So that will go there. And then on this side, I'm going to cover up that as well. So just going through a little bit of my ephemera here. To see what I might... Oh, I could, I could attach some embroidery too. That's not big enough. That's not going to be long enough. I did that on the other one, didn't I? Oh, here we go. We've got this. What did I add on the other one? Oh, no, I added that one. Oh, well, we'll add this one here. Yeah, I like that. Just rip that off there. And that's not going anywhere. It's securely glued. Put that there. And then I want to put something there, I think. Um, 
I mean, this could be the longest video ever because I'm attaching two together and I've totally lost track of how long I've been. Yep, I really like these little notebooks. I um, The one that I use for my 100 day project, I absolutely love it. And um, even write, you know, a few other things in there now that I've written everything for the 100 day. But if I have ideas for any videos, not that that happens very often before the video, but um, occasionally it does, um, then I write it down and write notes in there. Oh, very pretty. I mean, I could keep on going. I really could. Oh, we might have even have a little tab. Let's just see. Let's tear that off there. Okay, sorry, Lily. No, I'm nearly finished. Well, I don't want to disturb you, Mary. You're not disturbing me. Mad, I'll disturb you. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little tab on there. Put little, I've got another little piece here. We'll put a little bit scripty tab there. So just tear that off where they're not meeting up and you can see the white. And I might just tear a little bit off there if I can. I'm tearing my, my Band-Aid. It's a bit of a hindrance. Put a little bit of glue on there on either side. No, I don't want to put it on that page. Put it on this one. Light it in a bit further. Just a minute. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's a helicopter. Okay, making everything rattle. Um, and then what else? We might put one more tab. So there's three, and we'll put. Glue that there. No. This is a little bit pretty for this one, but anyway. Sometimes I have to, um, like, Put a bulldog clip on these to hold them until they stick. It might stick. There we go. So that is my little booklet. I just like all the messy pages and I like the acetate pockets so I um, haven't covered up. We've got a pocket up there so we can put something in there um, and we haven't covered up the nice tea dyeing and then just all different random pages. That's why I really like that look. You can do some stamping, put pockets in, we've attached some extra pages, um, got doily in there and then that's the back. So I think I'll go, I'll do the other ones off camera. Um, yeah, I think I'll go and 
Probably have to think about lunch for Madam because sure, that's that'll be the next question. We've already had what's for dinner question. We didn't get we didn't get the what's for lunch yet, but you know, that'll be coming. Um, and so I better go and think about it. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's my take on the Gale envelope um, journals, the quick, easy journals. Um, as I said, I didn't really have too many envelopes that sort of that were prepared that were ready for it, except for this one. So um, I'll do that one and show you how it turned out. Um, but yeah, otherwise you'll be here all day. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon. Bye.